We are at Material Culture with a bunch of kids from Freire Charter School right down in downtown Philly. I always grew up around the importance of art and culture and it's kind of an area of study or academic that uh, is not talked about a lot in school. And obviously I play football and my life has been around football and sports, but also as a young person, uh, the arts, culture was something that I was exposed to a lot. And I think it's very important uh, to make you a more well-rounded, educated person. So I think it's great that you guys are all here. I hope you can soak up as much uh, information as you can. Isabella is, is a wealth of knowledge. Uh, she's going to kind of take you through the exhibit that she curated. Uh, but you guys should ask as many questions as you can. So I first met Connor and we were working on a project in Haiti and we got to know each other and I know he does a lot of work with kids in the Philly area and I thought he would be a good person to partner with. A lot of times it's hard to get kids into a museum or into a gallery and I thought he might be able to help me <laughs> pull kids in and he has done a great job of that. This hat is worn and identifies a Zulu woman as being married. So only married Zulu women would wear these. And Isabella does a great job giving the background and educating them. I mean, she did all the work. She curated it. She traveled across Africa and got all this stuff. So I thought it was a great opportunity to just, even if it's only informing 40 kids, it's better than nobody knowing about it. So the exhibit is meant to show through costume and currency the different ethnic groups in Africa. There are more than 3,000 different groups, and it's only when you understand the underlying ethnic groups that you can understand a lot of the politics of Africa, and also it's when you come to appreciate the beauty and sophistication of the artwork. And a lot of times we don't appreciate that. I wasn't expecting everything to be so up close. Like, once we came up here, it was like right in my face. We can actually touch this stuff and feel like what, it, what this stuff is made out of. It was nice to learn how stuff that is handmade and like every little stitching inside of the uh, clothing and stuff like that, everything meant something. So like, and she went into detail with, with what everything meant. So it was pretty cool learning about that. I mean, this is an unbelievable exhibit that's free for kids. The colors, the craftsmanship, the ability to actually touch and feel the different things here has really engaged all the students. You want the hat? Yes. <laughs> the group was so engaged, which makes me very, very excited. All I want to do is open their eyes, whether it's, you know, you can look at this material, if you just look at it as pieces of art, you know, training your eye to see the details, to see what makes it special. So it's just trying to give them a little of the language to understanding the pieces, and that's the key to understanding the cultures. I just want to ask you, is like all of, this, all of these skirts up here like authentic? Are any of these replicated at all? They're all real. It's really exciting. These kids have been asking questions the whole time. And it's been good for me. It's educated me. Like I said, I mean, I've been through this three times now. And every time I kind of pick up or learn something new. So it's great to, to have all of this here for kids to see. And it's great to have all these kids here.